So this is video number three on creating our transaction. And I have several transactions in here, but this is the one that we were just creating um, right here. And um, I'm wrong, that's my seller. Um, so now I need to find my buyer. So I'm gonna very quickly do a quick search that says um, transaction name, one, two, three, testing. I think is what I called it. And I'm going to click search. Oops. I'm going to click search down here. See, even I make mistakes. Here is my here is my transaction. And those are my names that I put into it. Now, this is one of the things that drove me nuts with Client Connect, and I couldn't ever figure out. To edit the documents, you click this little blue arrow, and all of your documents will show up down here. So now you can edit things. Um, the pamphlet, we don't need to do any edits on. The mediation arbitration form, we don't need to do any edits on. But this real estate contract, we do. So you click Edit, and it will take a moment. And you can only edit one form at a time. And I'm going to make this bigger. It'll take just a second. And I'll warn you that occasionally, because I use updated software, occasionally I have a glitch here. And so you may very well get to see how I fix those glitch. Sorry, this is taking a moment because this is a bigger contract, obviously. So here is my earnest money agreement. I need to give it a number. So I'm going to say it's 1629TLC. That's the address of my initial. You can do anything you want. Um, I did not fill in the company I work for, so I need to do this. And I'm going to, in this case, be representing both people. This works just like every other form out there. And you fill in your blanks. Notice that your blanks are highlighted. This is the set way for this to do it. If you don't want them highlighted, you just simply click Turn Highlight Off. I prefer them to be highlighted. That way I make sure I don't miss anything. But it's totally up to you. So we're going to pretend that we've gone through and we've created the entire transaction or completed the entire form, and we're going to say Save and Close. So what's going to happen is it's going to come back here. It's going to tell me the record saved. You're going to click OK, and it's going to close that back up. But notice we're still in the same place. So you click the blue arrow again, and you go down to whatever form you need to fill in. So we're going to go disclose limited agency. And we're going to fill in anything that needs to be filled in here. In this case, the only thing I'm really missing is my date. So I would put my date in, which is 02-21-12, and I'd say save and close. And it's going to go back through and do its thing and say record saved. Okay, our next video will show you how to email or print all of those as one document. Have a great day. Call me with any questions, guys.